Hey Gems, it's your girl Silas Raven. So today I just kind of wanted to do something a little fun. As you guys can see, the title of this video is Booty of the Week. <laughs> so um, really quickly, I just want to share maybe a quick snippet with you guys. I've always um, had kind of like an athletic build um, after having three kids, numerous different surgeries. I've put on weight, of course, just like any other woman. Um, and I feel like I am a great representation of the average woman here in America versus the models and all this stuff that you kind of see. So I'm just kind of sharing my workout routines with you guys and things that I do, um, foods that I've eaten, things that I've done to actually, you know, shrink my waist and plump up my fatty. So anyways, um, really quickly, some of the foods that, you know, you want to definitely stay away from is things that are really high in fat and things like this but some things that I specifically eat to target that back area one I'm from Louisiana so I love sweet potatoes and the great thing about this it's fat from your stomach area so therefore when you eat it you know it, it's not as starchy as a white potato or something like that so you know this is just a better alternative for you and it's delicious I wouldn't add too much butter or margarine or anything like that um, put a little bit of whatever type of seasoning you like on it I actually like to just put a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg on the top of mine and I eat that um, sometimes I eat it with a side of broccoli and I'll pick some type of meat uh, three ounces at most lean beef was really something I had to kind of get into I'm not saying I don't eat beef I like beef stew and things like this but eating three ounces of lean beef for me I'd easily just grab chicken or fish or pork you know the great thing about lean beef is it builds muscle so I would suggest like once a day maybe it let it be your dinner um, or maybe your lunch like with me if it's if I feel like it's something really heavy I'll try to eat it at lunchtime that way I can burn all those calories and then you know eat something sensible for dinner um, but this builds muscle and my butt is not jiggly it's it's kind of muscular toned um, and I like that. I know some girls want it all jiggly or flabby or whatever is your cup of tea, but whatever your cup of tea is, that's you girl, okay? Not knocking you. Tuna, I can't express enough. I eat so much tuna fish. Um, sometimes I have to force myself to eat a different type of meat that day. I have a cabinet full of tuna fish, like in the cans, low sodium, everything like this, and I even buy the little packets like the tuna creations and the tuna for your salad and stuff like this. And I really like it. Tuna is like under 200 calories depending if you're getting a packet or a can or how much of it you're eating or if you're actually getting the tuna fish, the actual filet. And this is absolutely full of protein. It's going to be absolutely great for you um, to trim your waist and give you that fatty. Really eat veggies definitely drink a lot of water but definitely eat veggies you want green leafy veggies and cucumbers which i love i grew up eating like cucumbers and tomatoes out of my grandmother's garden that's just kind of what we do a louisiana thing a little salt on it i don't put vinegar just a little salt <laughs> and uh hot sauce and uh tony sacheries but in a healthier aspect you don't want to put all that so you can put some type of like ranch dressing or just a a pinch of salt on it for yourself just to give some taste or just eat them raw I do that too I love cucumbers I have no problem with it definitely want to have tomatoes and you definitely want to eat beans my daddy and berries 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 um, these are full of antioxidants and things like this beans are full of protein so my daddy used to tell me when I was little you don't like your beans your booty not gonna grow it's a true statement true statement eggs you don't want your cholesterol to be sky high but you definitely want that protein I try to eat two eggs a day any style that you want um, I typically like to boil mines um, if I'm in a hurry I'll scramble it but most most of the time I like to boil them and slice them up and you know that's how I eat them basically and I eat them for breakfast with like two pieces of uh, turkey bacon and a slice of toast nuts now this was a thing I kind of had to get into being that you know i eat planters peanuts and stuff like that but a lot of that stuff is like salted and 
all that so i mean just eating nuts for like a snack that was something i had to do because i'm not a big cashew person um or almond person like that i'll eat them but it's not like my go-to 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 um but yeah you can do almonds peanuts cashews um i feel like i'm leaving something off just eat your nuts not like that but like that eat your nuts <laughs> healthy fat and it's definitely going to help increase shrinkage to the stomach and you know if you're eating the right foods y'all you can reshape your body i am like a total testament of this you know um i looked at myself maybe about three or four years ago and i really want to reshape and even though i was being told i couldn't lose weight because i had the history had the fibroid tumor and all these things like this um i really would still get up and work out it was no excuse just because the doctor was like well you can't lose weight until you have a hysterectomy you know even now with me having a hysterectomy i'm swollen i'm only two months post-op and i still get up and i run every day i'm not quite able to do sit-ups and crunches and things in the core just yet um, because I still have swelling and a lot of pain there and quite frankly I'm healing but I mean it, nothing can stop you not children not anything so you know if you're watching this um, I am no health expert but I would definitely say push yourself what counts most is when you are looking not everybody else don't listen to your friends I have certain friends trust me that um, want to tell me what I need to do and what I don't need to do worry about your opinion because that is the only opinion that matters it's real talk so these are the things like i try to eat every day green leafy vegetable that i like to eat is spinach or i'll eat broccoli um i'll eat cabbage i'll eat uh lettuce of course um you know just anything i try to asparagus that's not like really my thing uh, for vegetables i just don't like the texture and the taste but you know find what works for you um, I'm not telling you to go sit down and eat a can of beets if you don't like beets. You know, I'm just telling you find what works for you and kind of use that format. And those are things that you can do because there's, although there's hacks out there, like things you can do to make your butt look bigger for when you're taking a picture, like wearing heels because this props it up. Yes, that stuff works, but it's temporary. And again, it's just kind of like a hack. Um, but some of the things I, I, I felt like I should share some of the things I've done in the past um, I do girdle train so I've worn girdles like from my behind this um, and it actually does work because it's just like a corset trains your stomach to shrink in these girdles train your butt to sit up I do my waist trainer of course I've done uh, Abilene I love to do the Abilene or I use Vaseline um, and this I like waist thing that I work out in and you know it has all the special stuff in there to make you sweat and everything like that so i'll put this on when i'm working out and it goes just around the stomach and i'll usually have like the saran wrap under there with my abilene or my vaseline or whatever a little sauna suit i love to wear that because it, it sheds that that weight off of you and it actually pushes you harder so when you don't wear it and you exercise you feel like you're going that much harder than you did when you felt like you were dying when you <laughs> when you had that on okay where are the correct draws don't be that girl panty lines aren't cute don't be that girl i like there are women who will wear drawers that are too small thinking this makes their butt look bigger and then the drawers are all stuck up in their ass like this and it's like the where are the, cor the correct drawers okay last but not least eat your beans and cornbread i'm from louisiana that's what we do we eat our beans and corn bread so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys a few exercises that i do right here in my home um so that you guys can see stuff i do and you do however many reps you want i don't have a specific set of reps reps i usually do each exercise um 10 or sometimes 20 times like on my squats i'll do them 20 times and then i'll start over so and i'll do three sets of those so i'll wind up doing like 60 of those in a day but almost everything else i do between 10 to 15 just depending on what type of burn i'm trying to feel for the day or workout i'm trying to feel for the day so i'll go ahead and get into the exercises this fireplace mantle sometimes you just have to use what you have um if you don't have a stepper or anything like that then you can definitely do jump squats where you would jump and then just squat See, like that, but I use my step and I just come up, squat, and I do this about 10 times.
Look at Harper. Look at Harper. He's always in the way when I'm trying to exercise. I do lunges. So I start my feet together. And I always make my knee touch the ground. And I come back. And so for me, that would be one set. So that's one repetition. And then I would do the same thing. So that would be two. I do leg lifts. And you wanna get on all fours, not to twerk. Just get on all fours, hey heart. And you wanna come up, point your toe. Up, come over, up, thread the needle, back up, down. That's how I do my leg lifts. Move far. Jumping jack squats, that's what I call them. Okay? So, you go into squat position and you do jumping jacks. Get as low as you can. And you'll feel this everywhere. Last but not least, I do frog lips. Last but not least, y'all, I do frog lifts, and this is gonna look retarded as hell, but trust me, it works. On the floor, get your girls right too, because they can hurt. <laughs> you wanna lift your booty, put your hands like on a V under the pelvic area. Move Harper. <laughs> y'all can see what I'm going through. You want to put your legs in a frog position? No, Harper, no. 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 Y'all getting attacked. I'm getting attacked by the dog. Stop, Harp. Stop, Harp. Stop, Harper. They won't leave me alone. Harper is gone. I'll show you guys. You come right underneath. You want to lift your pelvis. Put your hands under there. Put your legs in frog position. Now, when you push up, you want to keep your feet curved outwards. You don't want them touching in. You want to keep them outwards. And when you push up, you want to squeeze your booty cheeks together. It's like if you were holding a fart in front of your boyfriend. Like that's what you want to do. And you want to come up off the floor and come down. And you just want to hold it like three seconds and bring it back down and then you just do whatever little repetition of that that you need to do and you should be good to go so it's a lot of other stuff like you can do like leg lifts and just all kind of crazy stuff but those are like the little go-to that I do um, and that's pretty much it all right love y'all bye bye